ask questions later. Strap yourself in for an incredible ride and see some amazing footage you'll never forget. This is Sky Action Video. April 29th, 1992, we got the word that in Simi Valley, the four white police officers were acquitted of the beating of Rodney King. So I went to South Central Los Angeles, and what you're seeing now is what we saw just hours after that verdict. A KNX news van being bombarded with rocks, bottles, and milk cartons narrowly gets away. Its driver, Tom Vakar, was not injured. There were numerous accidents, numerous fistfights. People began looting Tom's liquor store at Florence and Normandy. This is the infamous intersection where a lot of people believe the spark of the worst rioting in US history, the LA riots in 1992 occurred. Well, Kim, here's the situation. Tom's Liquor Store, you're looking at a live picture here at Normandy and Florence. There's been a mini riot at this location. The liquor store has been looted at this point. Dozens of people entering the store and taking boxes and boxes of merchandise. No Los Angeles Police Department presence here at the scene. And a uh, KNX news van was under attack here just a matter of minutes ago. They tried throwing a sign through the window and also damaged the van heavily. I've also witnessed numerous people that have stopped for the light. Uh, those people have been uh, jumped upon. Their vehicles have been damaged. And in one case, uh, one person was ripped out of their car and their car was stolen. And now looking at rocks and bottles being thrown at another car in an intersection. They're attacking the driver right now. They just broke out the window. Newscopter 13 has been fired upon by people with guns down below. We've seen the muzzle flash and smoke. What we have down here, folks, is a lot of angry people rioting in the street. There's a live picture. They're now pulling the door off the car, and they're cracking the windows. They're in the process of destroying an automobile. People have been injured. The fire department tried to respond here just a short time ago. They came under attack, and they have now pulled off. They're literally uh, unable to enter this area. In terms of police presence, there, there's none. There's no police presence here as of yet. The Tom's Liquor Store is being looted. Numerous people down below have been under attack. Uh, there's a Unical gas station across from the liquor store here at Normandy and Florence. People in that uh, gas station came under attack as well. The side streets are filled with people that are attacking residents of this South Central neighborhood. I'm just um, very concerned. If you are in this area, you don't want to come down here. You don't want to come down here. There's indiscriminate violence. They're attacking uh, everyone uh, that that comes to a stop here at this intersection. There's also a car accident. The cars have been left abandoned because their drivers came under attack with rocks, bottles, bricks, anything that could be thrown. The liquor store here, windows have been broken out. The store has been gutted, looted. People now, there's there you can see some angry youth throwing rocks, breaking out windows. A driver driving a truck full, uh, loaded with pallets is now making U-turn. Looks like a, uh, a beer can thrown through the window. They just hit the driver. Just terrible violence down here. We uh, up here in the air are not immune to it. Uh, reports of people down below, below with guns. We've seen some muzzle blasts. 
Fortunately, we're a small target in a very large sky, but we feel it's important to bring you these pictures. This in the aftermath of the Rodney King verdict. We're at the intersection of Normandy and Florence in South Central Los Angeles. Oh, there's some gunfire two blocks to the north. I'm going to try to position Newscopter 13 into a position where we can uh, see some of this. These are uh, uh, people, residents down here, coming under attack by, uh, looks like, angry youth. Male, uh, male pe males, females, all looting this liquor store. You can see the, uh, Marika, if you'll just uh, zoom in there, you see the doorway of uh, Tom's liquor store, and they're still carrying merchandise out of there. A uh, news van down here from KNX uh, came under attack. Um, that reporter was screaming on a radio frequency that he was under attack and needed help, but was able to pull out of there. He's pulled off to a safe location. In terms of other violence throughout this area, uh, this is really the hot spot at this point. Well, Ross, uh, from our vantage point, things remain the same. There's no control here in the streets. Uh, there's no police presence at this point. People continue to uh, go through the Tom's Liquor Store here at Normandy and Florence. There's been sporadic reports of violence and some action that we have seen on some of the surrounding streets here in this area. Fortunately, um, hang on, I'm getting a report from the police. Go ahead. Okay, they've now, there's now a, okay. There's now been a tactical alert for this area and that officers have been ordered to stay out of this general area. They don't want police officers in this general area. Uh, I don't know exactly uh, what that means. We're going to try to get you more information on that. Uh, from our, yes, Ross. Ross, uh, from our vantage point, and we have a very clear view of the general area, we cannot find a police car within one mile of this intersection. And we have a clear, clear shot. We've seen uh, several patrol units earlier. There are lights uh, flashing, sirens wailing, pulling out of the area, leaving the area. Also, the uh, fire department has had numerous injury calls to this area, rescue ambulance calls. But they're pulling people, uh, they're pulling the fire department out of here. Now an LAPD helicopter is be okay, is that police helicopter pulling into this area? No, no okay, they're not uh, coming over to this area. We've got some reports of violence uh, elsewhere in South Central Los Angeles. This has been uh, some of the more dramatic uh, violence that we've seen from our aerial vantage point. There have been numerous rescue ambulance calls for this general area. When they did come in with a rescue ambulance, the rescue ambulance came under attack. So, you know, you've got two paramedics and an engine company, a team of people, that are trying to respond into the area to uh, treat some people that are injured, and then they come under attack. So they have pulled off, and it's understandable. Ross, that's, that is correct. However, there's sporadic violence on the surrounding side streets as well. interesting what the LAPD helicopter is now doing is they're now keeping under surveillance people that have looted that have looted the store they're following the people that have looted the store with a lot of merchandise to some to various locations so that they're documenting that so I suppose that a when, when calm prevails over this area at that point, they can move in and may maybe make some arrests, but there were so many people, children, women, men, elderly people, rushing this, uh, rushing the Tom's Liquor Store, rushing uh, uh, the gas station, attacking people in the intersection, 
that I don't know how they can fully document all these various locations where uh, this merchandise going. And you know, and you got people being injured in the street. Uh, you know, uh, it's just chaos at this particular location. I, I can't tell. I'm going to try to talk to, uh, make a direct contact with the LAPD chopper and maybe try to dis uh, discuss with them what their uh, game plan is. I don't want to say too much over the uh, airways, but maybe there's a reason for, for staying out of this area. Maybe they are trying to let things simmer down, as Ross said. However, you know, you are seeing a picture of, um, you have seen some graphic examples of people here in the street uh, that have been injured because of this random violence. Now, uh, wait a minute, I'm looking at somebody. Marika, look off to the right here and zoom on in. You could see somebody uh, leaning out of a car, waving his fist. We've seen uh, this individual throw things out of, uh, out of the car, breaking windows. Okay, now, uh, okay, there's now, uh, no, oh, they're still looting the liquor store at this point. There, now there's some rocks being thrown into another, there's a van coming under attack. People still stray into this area. You're seeing people, now they're pulling the driver out. They're pulling the driver out of the van and they're kicking the driver and beating the driver. The driver's only uh, mistake was entering this area. He's been kicked in the head. He's laying in the street. Okay, this is it. Terrible, terrible pictures. This is what the, all this guy did was enter this area. That's his only crime. Hit the siren, Doug. Yes. He, okay, this guy is laying in the street. Hit the siren, Doug. He is bleeding unconscious in the street. Ross? Oh, it's tragic. The man is unconscious in the street. He still, people are still coming up and throwing things at this poor individual. Oh, the, the van has been looted. There's nothing left. That's right. We're, we're reporting this. Ross, we're reporting this to the LAPD. We're, we've contacted them, we've told them what's happening, that they've got a man unconscious, bleeding in the street after being badly beaten. He's, there he goes, he's trying to get up. Uh, call 911, call 911 and let them know. Also, the emergency operations center of the LAPD, they're monitoring these pictures. He is getting help. H how is our picture, by the way? Are we holding the picture together? Okay. When we, uh, we're, what we tried to do is drop down, hit our siren. We have a, a PA siren system. We tried to maybe scare some of these people off. The, our presence means nothing. Um, they have. Uh, okay. Okay, we're getting some information from LAPD. Okay. Okay, here's the information, here's the scoop. LAPD has just told me that they have ordered all police helicopters and all LAPD uh, cruisers out of this area. They've set up a command post. They're trying to make a decision. They have set up a tactical alert. There's another driver badly beaten. So folks, here's the situation from South Central. Drivers of automobiles and trucks that enter this area can expect to, uh, oh, look at that. Terrible. And there's no police presence down here. They will not enter the area. That's right. This is attempted murder. No, there's, there's no, there's no uh, shutting down Florence. Let's shut Florence Boulevard down. That's the answer. We're going to tell the LAPD to do that now. Tell LAPD to shut Florence Boulevard down and Normandy 
because people are still driving through here. That's right. That, that's right, Ross. Ross, Ross. Okay, he's he's moving. He's a lot of blood gushing from the uh, from the man's head. Um, uh, someone standing there taking a picture. He's taking a videotape of the man laying on the street, but nobody's helping him. Now they're checking his gas tank, and boy, if they set that gas tank, well, unbelievable. South Central Los Angeles, we're seeing a dark day here in Los Angeles. The LAPD is nowhere to be found. I, I feel very frustrated. I used to, they're picking his pockets now. I, okay, I think we just took a round. I think we just took Well, this is our job and we're going to stick with it. Okay. Well, we, Ross, we, we want to uh, stay up here. I want, uh, stand by. This is going all the way to Florence and Vermont. The this is a, a riot area. That's a term that the LAPD is using at this point. The driver is stumbling, trying to get up, and nobody is helping the driver. I used to be a medic. Okay, what's the PD? What, what are they? Okay, we know that Florence is all the way down Florence uh, from the freeway to Vermont. I used to be a medic, and to see this happen and not be able to help these people, I, I just, it's indescribable, the feeling, the powerless, you know, how powerless we are. But these pictures are important. It's important to see the dark side of, of, the, uh, of the city, and, and sure. You see that? He's, he's reaching up for help, and a, somebody kicked him in the head. No. No. Ross, I, because of the picture angle that you have, maybe a tight picture, it is literally people walking through the area. It's literally dozens of people. I have a, I have a wider view than you do, and, and from my vantage point, he's on his knees, and it's... it's Okay, gunfire, man's holding a shotgun. Off to your right, Marika, the gray jacket. He just fired a uh, gunshot round into the car, a white automobile. I want you to get a tight shot of this individual. He's over on the, the corner, on the southwest corner, gray shirt, with a sawed-off shotgun. He's at a motorcycle. Here's a man with a shotgun that fired a shotgun round into a car indiscriminately and now is calmly putting on his helmet, putting his jacket on, and now getting on his motorcycle. I don't know what to tell you. Now there's another person across the street firing a fire extinguisher in the air. I have a, uh, just, a just a terrible feeling. Uh, Ross, we're now hearing that the LAPD is moving in. Can you get a confirmation if she's flying in here? Tell me what direction. 
We're working a number of radios aboard Newscopter 13. What we're doing is we have people aboard that are relaying information to the police helicopters and to the emergency operations center of the city. So we're also showing a live picture that they're seeing. They know what's going on down here. And we are relaying this information. We are trying to get help for these, uh, for these injured people. However, that already has been looted, ma'am. That's right. Okay. Oh. Okay, here comes a police helicopter. Marika's going to get you a shot of this PD helicopter. Go, pan up, Marika. I'll tell you, she's very brave hanging out of this helicopter holding a camera. Okay, now this is a police helicopter. The officers aboard are relaying information to an emergency operations center and to a CP. Stand by. We got a fire starting uh, uh, just uh, north of our location. We're showing four plus hours of fuel. Uh, news desk up here information where we got four hours plus. This has now been going on for a little bit over an hour. We've been over from the very beginning showing you these pictures. Uh, Florence still is open to traffic. Somebody is driving off this, uh, this truck. Okay. Tell her not to go above five. Clear right, clear right. New. I what what you're going to see is they've just started a fire over here. So I, if a yeah, fire has been started here. Um, I don't know who started it. We're going to be over it in just a second. Well, you'll see a picture in just a second. Let's figure out what's going on here. It's a, it looks like a trash fire. Trash, fortunately, just a trash fire. Now, what we're going to do, as you as you can describe to anyone that may have come uh, just turned tuned on uh, tuned into 13's coverage is what we're going to do a peripheral search of the area and see if there's any other hot spots uh, if you want to uh, let the uh, viewers know what uh, has transpired. Well, we've seen it from the very beginning. We, in fact, saw those two people, two motorists that uh, wandered into this area, both driving trucks, ripped out of their automobiles, beaten unconscious, then their pockets picked. When they stood up to try to, when they came to, covered in blood, trying to get out of the area. They were beaten back to the ground. No LAPD officers on station, on scene. They were uh, uh, ordered, LAPD has been ordered out of this area. Also, uh, the liquor store, Tom's Liquor Store here at Normandy and Florence, fully gutted. People going inside with empty hands, coming out, carrying crates, boxes, booze, alcohol, anything that they can carry. Kids, women, adults, elderly people, all participating. Across the street, a Unical gas station. That has been robbed, it has been uh, looted, and automobile uh, motorists that were there at the time, at the time when this began, they were uh, ripped out of their automobiles, beaten, and their cars stolen. There is still violence. I watched one man, uh, just a matter of minutes ago, pull out a sawed-off saw shotgun from under a uh, coat, fire a shot into a white passenger automobile, and then calmly get back onto his motorcycle and drive from the area. Very calmly, uh, it's just chaos down here. There is no police presence. Uh, they have been ordered from the scene by their command post. Uh, there have been some uh, sheriff's vehicles through here. I did see earlier some LAPD units going code three out of the area. When rescue ambulances, uh, fire department rescue ambulances have attempted to enter the area, those ambulances have been uh, the uh, point of uh, su tremendous violence. In fact, uh, even KNX, we sent a, a news van to this area, and the driver, our reporter, he took a lot of uh, abuse, uh, physical abuse, and the uh, automobile he was driving came under attack uh, with rocks, bottles, and signs. Uh, fortunately, uh, he was able to motor out of the area without having his door ripped open and uh, get a severe beating like some of the drivers that we've seen uh, here just a matter of minutes ago. 
Uh, an LAPD helicopter from time to time flies over the scene, reports back to their emergency operations center, and then will fly back over to Parker Center where there's more disturbing, uh, more violence uh, reported. Also, looking off in the distance, uh, looks like a small fire has been set behind a building. We don't know what that's about. Stand by one second. What? Okay. Reports of shooting. Uh, we, we have seen some uh, shots fired from our vantage point here in South Central. Now uh, the uh, pilot and the uh, co-pilot now landing the uh, police helicopter. We're going to stay up above. It appears, uh, okay, we're listening to them. They may have taken a round. They're going to check their helicopter. They're down, down on the ground safely. We're going to uh, stay with them and uh, keep a vigil, make sure they're doing okay. Okay, they're down safely. You have to take care of each other up here, but uh, Florence in Normandy here in South Central Los Angeles is the scene of the violence. And what's odd is just a few blocks away, there are people playing soccer, people playing baseball in the parks. Life goes on normally. And just a few blocks uh, further to the uh, south, you see people um, destroying property, looting buildings, and uh, beating up motorists, and in some cases firing weapons into automobiles. That's the situation from South Central Los Angeles. Reporting live, Bob Turk. Good. That'll look good for the live shot. We got a car on fire. Car on fire. Oh, what's going on? What's what are they rushing? Another story. You getting this? Yeah, we're set to go. Boy, they're setting cars on fire, and now they're getting a video place. They're running like, running like you can imagine. Okay. Roger. Let's go live. Well, you're looking at a live picture here at Florence and Normandy. A car fully engulfed in flames. They're now setting cars on fire. Also, just a second ago, we saw about uh, a little close to 100 people rushing for a video store and looting that store. This is uh, still going on. You're seeing a live picture. Cars are being set on fire, and people are continuing to loot store after store. Yes. Oh, that's true. Now, there are people down below writing justice and spray paint down on the street. Also, just about a mile away, we could see another liquor store being looted, the Smile Liquor Store on Normandy. An LAPD helicopter had to make an emergency landing a few miles away because they believed they were hit by gunfire. We are just about uh, 400 feet over this scene, about 60 miles an hour in left-hand orbits. Bring same location, Normandy and Florence. This is Bob Turr in uh, the news helicopter. We are over Florence and Normandy, and we're still watching a uh, situation out of control. A number of uh, people literally... Okay, people literally out of control here. We're ready to go. Say again, Ronnie. Oh boy, let me just readjust something here. We're flying at uh, standby set. Go ahead. Police helicopter now coming back inbound. A uh, police helicopter is now back inbound to survey the damage in the situation here at Normandy at Florence. This has been one of the harder hit areas. There have been uh, some sporadic violence in other intersections, people shooting. 
indiscriminately in automobiles. Also, a liquor store at Normandy and 50th and 60th also looted. They're setting cars on fire, and what's unbelievable is people are still continuing down here on their cars to try to see what's going on. However, it's still out of control. Well, over, yes it is. The, the situation here at Florence and Normandy is still out of control. Just about to an hour and 50 minutes ago is when the violence started occurring. Oh, there's another fire. Here we go. What I'm going to do now is I'm pulling off this Normandy and Florence location. I am now traveling uh, northbound to 60th and Normandy where we have the Smile Liquor Store. It was looted just a matter of minutes ago and I believe they set fire to the store with a Molotov cocktail. Yep, they have. Okay, we're now coming up on the liquor store. We were able to see a few dozen people looting this store. Fire department's on scene. We're going to be making left-hand orbits. The, uh, okay, it is the Smile Liquor Store here at 60th and Normandy, fully engulfed in flames. We have... Ross, can you take this live picture? Well, the uh, Smile Liquor Store at 60th and Normandy was looted by about three dozen people, women, children, senior citizens. And then after the store was looted, they set fire to it. The, the uh, looters set fire to the store. As you can see, it is fully engulfed in flames. The LA Fire Department is on scene. They're working to put the fire out. They're using their fire hoses, heavy streamlines, to knock this fire down with an escort of nine LAPD automobiles. This is the first LA presence, LAPD presence we've seen here in South Central in the last uh, hour and 45 minutes. North, excuse me, south of this location at Normandy and For Florence, they set fire to a number of automobiles and also looted another liquor store, Tom's Liquor Store, it was there that they looted it. Thank you. Okay. Well, it's getting worse. Night is falling here over this troubled area. And under the cover of uh, approaching darkness, we've had uh, a number of buildings set ablaze. Right now, a video store is now fully engulfed in flames. No fire department presence. Uh, also, some uh, automobiles that were set afire here. They're clearly, uh, the fire department's presence is clearly not wanted here by these uh, thugs down here, several dozen of them. Well, maybe three dozen of them uh, that are actively uh, continuing in this violence. There is another fire. Uh, okay, we now see another fire, yet another fire, set ablaze about three miles to the south. Another commercial structure set ablaze. From time to time, uh, people with shotguns uh, take a shot up at us. Fortunately, shotgun rounds don't travel that far. We're out of their reach, flying above this, uh, this horrible site over Los Angeles. The uh, main body of action has been the uh, South Central area of Florence and Normandy. However, uh, further to the north on Normandy, we, other, we have other areas of fires. And further south over on Vermont, we have a fire burning. But uh, the road uh, remains open. The lights continue to work, and people drive down here. Smart people uh, see what's going on and turn around. But unfortunately, um, there are a lot of looky-loos coming down here to see what go what's going on and they get ripped out of their automobile and they get very severely. I've seen uh, several people beaten to the ground and pass out, laying there unconscious in a pool of their own blood and uh, once in a while coming to, and when they come to, they're beaten back to the ground.
Okay. 